The most commonly requested procedure by male patients in my practice is gynecomastia correction. Sometimes they're doing it in conjunction with liposuction of love handle or something else, but it's gynecomastia as a hands-down winner. About 30 to 40 percent of my practice is men. They want the confidence at the beach, in the locker room, or just in the business environment to look their best. They're tired of the flabby fat around their chest or around their middle. They're ready to do something about it and look amazing. Welcome to Washingtonian Plastic Surgery. So what is gynecomastia? Gynecomastia is a combination of fat and or actual breast gland tissue on the male chest. I'm gonna to cut to the chase. Smart lipo, laser lipo is going to be a part of the solution of improving the chest in most men. The laser wand is what goes in and does the work. It helps shatter the fat, helps minimize bruising, helps tighten the skin after that fat is removed. Because remember, that extra skin has to go somewhere. And we don't wanna make a cut to get rid of that extra skin. We want to be able to tighten up the skin and let it shrink back down to the new contour minus the fat. I'm going to show you this person who's a doctor at the NIH. Really unhappy about the extra flab around his chest. We did laser liposuction along with cutting out a bit of the glandular tissue, improved his confidence, improved his contours, delighted with the result. There is a kind of gynecomastia that's called pseudo-gynecomastia or false gynecomastia, which means it's actually not breast tissue, it's just fat on the chest. So this young man, who's athletic and vigorous, does have a couple of areas of frustrating fat around his chest, around his love handle and his lower tummy. And with laser lipo alone, no cutting, no excising, he was able to get the contours that he desires, including a flat chest and get rid of that little Michelin man spare tire around his middle. How much of it is going to end up being fat versus gland is sometimes predictable based on my physical examination. Other times it's a decision that's finessed when we are in the OR to see how much improvement we can get with liposuction alone. So this person also has pseudo gynecomastia, which means no gland tissue, just extra fat both around his armpits as well as right on his chest. And with laser liposuction alone, no cutting, just needles, and removing the fat, he was able to get the desired contour with a quick recovery and a nice contour. Then there is what's called true gynecomastia as opposed to pseudo gynecomastia, which is just fat. So in true gynecomastia, there's actually glandular breast tissue. If it's just a small bud of glandular tissue, that we can remove by making a tiny little cut around the nipple and pulling that glandular tissue out. As depicted here, a small amount of glandular tissue, just a little button underneath the nipple, is directly removed with an incision. This very athletic individual also has true gynecomastia, just a little button of tissue that we removed with an incision around the nipple. Grade two gynecomastia is when there is both fat as well as enlargement of the glandular tissue, and that's going to need a combination of liposuction and direct excision, meaning making a little half moon cut around the lower part of the nipple and removing that glandular tissue. That's best exemplified by uh, this man who came in for puffy nipples. With liposuction and direct excision, he got the results that he was looking for. Remember I talked about how the laser is an important component of it in terms of helping the skin shrink? This is a result at one week in a man who's going to do a motocross race. He's working hard and losing weight, but he realized that without laser liposuction, the skin on his chest may not, skin, may not shrink back. So we did laser lipo as well as remove the glandular component. Here he is at one week. He of course has healing to go, but I show that so that you can understand what your timeline to recuperation might be like as well. This is an executive who turns out to be uh, a relative of a fellow physician, friend of mine. He came in for gynecomastia correction. We were able to deliver that. Two months later, he was on winter break with his kids in the Caribbean, felt comfortable taking his shirt off for the very first time. Uh, another example of grade two gynecomastia, excess skin and excess gland, combination of laser lipo, excising the gland, significantly improved contour, both for him and for his loved ones. Pretty straightforward, grade two gynecomastia, before and after.
what do you do when there's a lot of extra skin? Some of that skin does shrink back, but not all of it. So we must be prepared when there's true extra, extra, extra skin that not all of that can shrink back. And that's a judgment that we'll enter into in a partnership, you and me. That's grade three gynecomastia, when you've got so much extra skin that it actually has to be cut out. Or grade four, where a longer incision has to be made. We try our best to minimize the need for a skin excision, and the laser component of it, the smart lipo component of it, helps decrease the incidence of having to cut the skin out. This is a depiction from a case study in a scientific journal showing when you've got that much extra skin that does involve a scar. But we rarely see that. In most instances, we can handle it with laser lipo and a small cut around the nipple. You may say, well, why does this happen? There's some causes that are called idiopathic, means we just don't know. Other causes may be related to marijuana consumption, to certain medications or liver failure. But one of the most common causes is from having been heavy in the teenage years or currently being heavy. What happens is your body produces testosterone in the testes. That circulates through your body, but if you're heavy, and in particular the peripheral fat, the fat that's in your skin and your love handles and your tummy, grabs that testosterone and through an enzymatic process with an enzyme called aromatase, turns it into estrogen. So that's what drives man boobs in men. So oftentimes we'll tell people, get on a good regimen of diet and exercise, lose that weight in addition to getting the gynecomastia treated, or let's combine gynecomastia with liposuction of the love handle or the flanks or the lower tummy to do it all in one. So we see many men in our practice who end up wearing layers to hide their gynecomastia. They wear a t-shirt even in the summer, or they're wearing Under Armour compression shirts or a Spanx to hide and conceal this. They don't feel comfortable taking their shirt off in the locker room or the pool side, or don't take those vacations in the first place. Come see me. We'll see you in our office, treat you with courtesy, respect, dignity, take beautiful care of you, get rid of that gynecomastia so that you can be wearing those linen shirts or those silk shirts, or wear a t-shirt at the beach, or go shirtless. We want to be part of the solution. I look forward to seeing you.